I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will find the derivative and sketch the graph. It is a very important question from test point of view. The question here is differentiate y equals to cos inverse sin x and sketch the graph of derivative and the function. What you need to know is the derivative of cos x, right? Cos inverse x. Uh, let me give you the formula. d dx of cos inverse x is equals to minus 1 over square root of 1 minus x square. You can actually pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So we are given the function y equals to cos inverse of sin x. So we can write dy dx as equal to cos inverse of this derivative will be minus 1 over 1 minus x is sin x here. So sin square x times d dx of sin x. So d dx of sin x is cosin x, right? So we can write this as minus 1 over square root of 1 minus sine square x is cos square x and derivative of sine is cosine 3 cos x. So we could write this as minus cos x over square root of square is absolute function. So we get absolute cos x. Now that is interesting. So their magnitudes will be same but as you can see this function can have two values. Either it will be plus 1 or minus 1. So plus 1 when cos x is negative, right? So if cos x is negative means less than 0, minus 1 if cos x is greater than 0, correct? So at 0 it is not defined. Okay. So, so that is what it is. Now based on this, what we will do here is we'll sketch the graph of derivative first and then we'll sketch the graph of the function. So so let me uh, sketch the graph here. So what we need to figure out is when is cos x negative, when is cos x positive. That's kind of critical for us. Now if you see the cosine function, uh, let me sketch a cosine function here. Okay, let's sketch it here. Okay, so what do you notice in the cosine function? Uh, we see that, okay, this is pi by 2, then this is pi, and this is 3 pi by 2, right? And this one is minus pi by 2 that is minus 3 pi by 2. So what do you notice is cos is positive from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 and negative from pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2, right? So let me divide this scale in pi by 2, right? So we have pi by 2, then we have pi, and then we have 3 pi by 2. So odd multiples, right? 5 pi by 2. Similarly, on the negative side, let's say minus pi by 2, then we use pi, and then we have minus 3 pi by 2, 2 pi minus 2 pi, and then so on. Okay. So it is very clear that between minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2, it is positive. So positive means negative 1, right? So, so between this interval, we get negative 1 as the... So we are actually sketching derivative, right? Y dash here. But from pi by 2 to 3 pi by 2, it is less than less than 1, right? In less than 0, which is negative. So you'll get positive 1 here, right? So in this interval, you get positive 1. Similarly, you get positive 1 here, right? So, and then again, it is negative 1. Likewise, it continues, right? So it continues. So that is, I mean, the derivative for, the graph for the derivative of our function, right? 
Now based on this, I will now sketch the graph of the function itself. So as far as the function is concerned, cos inverse, what do we know about cos inverse? So if we have y equals to cos inverse of x, in that case we know that the y is basically the angle and y varies from 0 to pi. Right, that is what y varies from. Right, so so that is what we are expecting. It was going to be always positive, right? So for the given function. Now, what we know here is that the derivative between minus pi by 2 and plus pi by 2 is negative 1. That means it is sloping downwards. So let's say this is uh, pi by 2 minus pi by 2. Let me again make the scale. So this is this is pi, this is 3 pi by 2 and let's say this is pi minus 3 pi by 2 right likewise this is 5 pi by 2 okay 5 pi by 2 minus so so during this interval the graph will be falling down right at 0 what is the value f of 0 sine 0 is 0 cos inverse 0 will be pi by 2 right so so at 0 it crosses pi by 2 it is positive right so from this logic what we have is that the graph will be uh, linear since the derivative is constant so it'd be linear kind of like this okay so it's falling down between this and after this till pi by 2 it goes up and the maximum value it will go up is pi you can substitute and also get the values and at 0 it is pi by 2 correct so the graph will be kind of like this right so and then again it falls down and goes up right so so like this so this slope is constant and is rising so it is positive Do you see that and then it's falling negative 1, rising positive 1, and that gives you the graph of the function y, which is cos inverse sine x. I hope this concept is absolutely clear. I'd like you to go through this video once again, understand, and then move forward. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you, and all the best.